Hello everyone, this is Mike. Welcome to my channel, Mike the Tech Savvy. I'm gonna present you today one of the best ROMs, if not the best ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S7. I have here a standard international version of the Samsung Galaxy X7, so the SM G930F. As the title of this video says, I have a fairly stable but designated as beta Lineage OS 16. So, Let's get started. I will start off with a couple of, let's say, requirements for this one. So, first of all, you'll need a Hero LTE variant of the Samsung Galaxy S7, notably the G930F. If you want to flash it on a different variant, it's on your own risk. I don't think it will work, so I wouldn't actually try. You will need to have the TWRP recovery installed, preferably the latest. 3.2.3 version. You will need the latest Lineage OS 16 ROM zip file and as optional packages you'll also need an OpenGFs package, preferably the Pico variant and the most recent one and the Magisk zip file if you'd like root access as well, which honestly I don't really know why you wouldn't want it. Let's get on with it. I will give you a short guide right now on how to install this one. So I will first boot up into recovery. So the usual combo, volume up, power and home button. The TWRP recovery will pop up right now. As you can see I have the latest variants 3.2.3.0. The first thing to do is to go to wipe, advanced wipe, select here system, data, cache and Dalvik. Now swipe to wipe, the phone will be wiped and you're ready to go and flash the Lineage OS zip file. Now I'm going to install, select the Lineage OS zip file. As of now the latest version is built on the 10th of January and it's the best one so far. And just swipe to confirm flash. Right after you did that, immediately select from the list the OpenGFs package just like you did with the ROM zip file and flash that one as well. If you'd like root access also flash the latest Magisk zip file. A word of warning, after flashing everything please do not wipe cache or Dalvik. If you want to do that, reboot after flashing everything. Let the device sit for half an hour, one hour and then you can wipe the cache and Dalvik if you want to. I haven't felt the need to do so. So as I was saying, after flashing the three packages, if you want to flash it fully, so ROM, root and OpenG apps, you can simply reboot the device into system. The first reboot might take 5-10 to 10 minutes, so do not fret on it, just wait for the device to boot up. While we wait for the device to boot up, you can see the logo here, the Lineage OS logo and boot animation. All the files that I listed here can be found in the description of this video. So you don't have to do anything other than following a link and downloading straight onto your phone or onto your PC. Yeah, so this is the ROM. Well, it's not lightning smooth it's it's quite fast this is something that i like it's fast it's stable and most of all it's light on the battery you can see right off the bat that i have the usual g apps so i have the play store and well that's about it because i only installed the pico package and then i cleaned whatever i didn't need with titanium backup i also got Addaway installed which is quite useful I've installed it straight from F-Droid, of course all these are optional. The ROM is quite fast as you can see right here. The camera works good, absolutely no issues. It's quite fast and well, the quality is decent enough, nothing special but it works. There are some issues with earlier builds of, let's say, Lineage OS and Samsung devices. They don't really work together that well. The only thing that is broken is the hardware composer and 
it doesn't really affect the user experience from my point of view at least i've used this rom and well this device as a daily driver for like a month and the only reason that i switched from it is that the battery of my specific galaxy s7 is quite old and well i wanted something a, a bit more let's say resilient from a battery life standpoint other than that it's a fantastic device and free of google bloatware as you can see we have the january security patch level and it's quite impressive given that not even the current samsung flagships don't have it as of now just take into account the fact that this one will definitely get more updates in the future and even more bug fixes it is now treated as a beta rom but from my point of view it's definitely daily driver material i really like the smoothness of this rom of course one of the first steps whenever you install anything is to go into developer options and reduce the animations to 0 or 0 0.5 i usually go with 0.5 what did i do here yeah so this is one of the first steps to make the device faster but there's no way to hide it so if the device isn't fast it won't be fast even with reduced animations this is not the case here i really love how the device is transformed after this rom update so if you do have a samsung galaxy s7 i strongly suggest you to install this version of lineage os i will also link the xda thread in the video description i'd like to take this occasion to thank ivan meller He's the developer of this ROM and he really did an amazing job with it. Well, I have only words of praise for it. Once again, I totally recommend this ROM. From my standpoint, I can deem this ROM as stable-ish. It is still better, so take it with a pinch of salt. If you're using some advanced Bluetooth functions or Android Auto or something like that, you might have some minor hiccups. I don't really do that, so it worked perfectly for me. This was the video for today, thank you so much for watching it, if you liked it please do press the thumbs up button, do not forget all the necessary files are in the video description below, if you have any questions or suggestions feel free to leave them in the comment box below as well, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel you can click on the logo in the bottom left part here, this was Mike the Tech Savvy, I wish you a great day, bye!